When Barbara Day was an undergraduate student at Carleton, she felt outnumbered, being one of the only girls in her engineering classes. Now, a master's student in electrical engineering, she is providing support for girls in her faculty. Last year, she started Women in Science and Engineering at Carleton in an effort to create a comfortable environment for her female classmates. And we have speaker events, we have social events, and it's really nice to just have a support group of females where you can talk about female stuff that guys ne might not necessarily be interested in talking about, uh, boys, movies, whatever. Barbara also cares about the future generation of female engineers. At Carleton's Go Eng Girl event, she informed high school girls that the university is eager to welcome them into the traditionally male-dominated program. Monique Fries is a former national chair for women in engineering and believes that Barbara's efforts are important to the field. And the, all the volunteers is we opened a door for the girls because you don't know if you saw my slides that normally they look at health sciences, teaching, nursing and all that. But they don't really know about engineering and how we can help people. They don't see the connection. Go Engel attracted around 100 girls and their parents. Participants felt that the day's message was an important one. I thought they did an excellent job. Everyone is extremely informative, friendly. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I learned that there were more engineering types than I thought there would be, like IT. medical and stuff. Oh yeah. Why? It's women in science and engineering. Oh, good. Yeah. Barbara hopes to continue spreading the wise word for all women in science and engineering. Today's success shows that girls are getting the message. Whether or not they do anything about it, we'll have to wait and see. Scott Croto, CJTV News, Ottawa.